What's up everybody, Justin here, Power Sports Productions. Today I'm gonna make a really short, really quick video because, you know, I've had some people ask me about Three Star and why, you know, I rip them so hard and all that. And let me tell you why. So as you know, Three Star has uh, had my 950. They're working on a skid plate for it made out of uh, UHMW. They made one put it on, I posted it. Mostly good comments. We had a few that were, you know, kind of uh, critical, but, but the thing is, is Three Star is such a great company and they listen to their customers so well. They have taken into consideration that constructive criticism and they have improved the skid plate for the CF Moto Z950 and every one that they're going to make after this. So they've worked really hard to source the materials to keep the cost as effective as possible and as close to what it is listed at now as possible, which is way cheaper than anybody else out there. But they listened, you know. So what exactly have they done? Instead of it being quarter inch UHMW, it is now going to be half inch UHMW. Instead of them cutting counter sink washers out of the UHMW and using that in order to hide the bolt head so they're not exposed. The holes are going to be countersunk, uh, you know, for the bolt and the washer. So it's smooth on the bottom, nothing's protruding. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, bending or folding over any kind of brass countersink washer. You don't have to worry about busting off a bolt head or anything like that. As, as with any time you're manufacturing or making anything new, there's gonna be a little bit of trial and error. And uh, you know, the important part is that they listen. They listen to their customers, they listen to their suggestions, and they take it seriously, and they figure out how to make it happen. So you are 110% satisfied with not only their product, but their customer service and how they take care of you. As far as the Can-Am goes, the Can-Am is going down there uh, when I go to pick up the 950. The Can-Am will be getting, uh, they'll be measuring it for, uh, I would assume, skid plates and they already have a, a front windshield, probably a rear windshield. You know, I don't know if they want to do some clear lower doors for the Can-Am, uh, for the X3 or uh, what else they want to do. I think it'd be really cool to have the same kind of roof that I have now, the tinted uh, kind of transparent see-through roof. Soon they will have Inferno heaters listed on their website, along with a few other things from a couple other vendors down in Arizona from when I went. And I wanna show you some of that. I haven't touched on, on the two things from down there yet. And one of them I think is the most innovative product to hit the UTV market. Our next person lower. that we're gonna to talk to is and Bill from like Rinsoff. This is another made in the USA product. Um, there's two of them here. You can move it to the other pocket. This one is battery powered. This one um, plugged in through a cigarette adapter. Bill's going to explain exactly what this is here in just one second. All right, so real quick, tell us who you are, the name of your company, what it is you guys do, and uh, if you could just run us through your product, that would be great. Hey, good morning, I'm Bill, one of the founders of Rinseoff. So this is our new product. It's a four gallon portable water system. So the container is, holds four gallons of water. Um, we'll just use it right here. So just simple on off switch. It's got a 12 volt pump inside of it. <clears throat> this one's plugged into a regular standard carport, uh, you know, just a cigarette lighter. So we're just plugging in down here. That's how it gets its power. It's got a swivel nozzle, so it's really easy to use. It's got a really nice lightweight, tough hose. This is the battery version. So the battery version is the same product. Um, it just has a, a 12 volt battery in it. So it's got a sealed lead acid battery. Inside here it's five amp hour. And it'll run, turn it on here, it'll tell us how much voltage is in it. It'll run 20 cycles or 80 gallons of water before you have to recharge it. So. All the parts inside the product are machined aluminum or stainless steel, so it's really built to last. So this, this product here comes out in January. The, the corded one we have now, and we're starting to, starting to ship. 
Okay, the next yeah, come thing I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk to Scott from SS Lightning Sticks. I found these guys online and I can attest to the fact that these are the brightest whips here at the show. All of this stuff is handmade in uh, right here in Arizona by the owner and his wife, Scott. So we will uh, meet him now and all right, Scott, tell us uh, who you are and good what morning. You do and so I'm Scott. Stuff. This is Christina. Um, we've been building whips for about nine years now. This company's been a great little uh, side thing for us. We're expanding every year, grabbing more vendors and and just introducing new products in whips. If you can see on my display, there's just all kinds of different ways this stuff goes. Everything starts with this little RGB right here. This is where the whole industry started on the RGBs. The boxes used to be bigger. Everything's gone mini, but these little controllers, everybody knows them and hates them because they work from like 100 feet away, <laughs> right? So, but it is, it, at the price point, this is the way to go. Add a spring, like this little guy is 60 bucks, spring's 15, quick release is 25. As you go up in the height, you add about $20 a foot. So from that guy, you can go, which these are about 1,200 lumens per meter. The rockets, are 4,000 lumens per meter. The starting price is like $20 a foot more and go up from there. As the industry has demanded, even brighter, our Sabres are 7,000 lumens per meter. All those other whip companies that are claiming 30,000 lumens, they're claiming it on meters of lights. So get the real skinny of what things really are. Now I'm gonna turn off some of this bright stuff and get down to the ghost. So the Ghost is our latest for chasers. There's a lot of apps out there that are pretty generic. This, the Ghost has the Ghost app, the Ghost control box. It has more functions in it than any other chaser out there. It's, you can adjust things. If it's this app right here. So it's on line dance. It's all got all these programmed um, options. I like the parade. You can speed things up, slow them down, make the gaps bigger, smaller. It's got um, other functions in here to change left to right to adjust pixel settings for your exact whips. So what that comes in handy for, so you go back in here, orbit. So now it's gonna jump from one whip to the other. So the pixel settings are what control that to, so it knows where the end of the whip is. This, this is the most versatile app I have found. So another great function that's in this, I'm gonna get back to something that keeps dancing for us, is it's got a brake light function. So when you hit the brakes, everything turns red. If you got blinkers on your car, it's all in the app. You can change the color of, of these blinkers in this kit to whatever color you want them to be. It's, there's that many functions within the Ghost app. I have a little bit of stuff on YouTube. I don't get on there as much as I should. Uh, but you come out to the shows. You, we're in Arizona. We do all the shows here in Arizona. So there you have it. Those are my two favorite products from the International Off-Road New TV Expo. The Whips obviously is not anything new to the side-by-side -side world, but the programming that they have for it and the brightness of those things, I'm telling you, it was kind of hard to catch on camera, but there's, I don't know of any whips out there that are brighter than those. And then the rinse off thing. The reason I think that is just the most, for one, there wasn't anything really new there. So that was kind of a new product. And I, and I can think of all the applications it could be used for when you're out at the park on the weekend. I mean, it could be used for everything from, you know, rinsing out your radiator, portable shower, if you had to have one, if they don't have shower houses or something like that. There are just a million different applications that that thing could possibly be used for. Clean off a windshield, the three-star industry windshield as you're driving, you get through some mud, have that thing in the back, you know what I mean? Just pop it around and just, just rinse it off. 
And that's it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you haven't, please hit that like button, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see uh, as far as either of or any of the machines. Um, there's also a Honda 400EX and a Honda 300EX in my garage. We take out Raven sometimes. I don't hardly ever film that one, but if you want to see some stuff with that, my, my son and I are getting ready to start building, uh, rebuilding the 300 for uh, him to be racing some this year. So, and I'm also thinking about using the Can-Am and getting into some racing myself. So we'll see what happens. I've already got a bunch of stuff on order for the Can-Am, you know, huge horsepower upgrade uh, through uh, charge tubes and new intercoolers and tune and uh, some clutch work on the Can-Am as well. And obviously I got whips and rock lights and I got a roof and I'll have windshields to put on, bumpers and rock sliders and the whole deal. So uh, stay tuned guys, thank you so much and we will see you in the next one.